next set of problems are so here are uh, there are three problems which are different from previous problems so these are very important problems uh, exam point of view so now the first problem is find the basis and dimension of a subspace find the basis and dimension of a subspace spanned by the vectors 1 2 0 1 1 1 2 0 1 of the vector space v3 of z3 so z3 means z3 is equal to 0 1 2 that is the element 0 1 2 with respect to the operation addition modulo 3 and multiplication modulo 3 where z3 is the field of integers modulo 3 so why it is field because zn is a field if and only if n must be a prime number we know that so zn here n is in place of n we have 3 3 is clearly a prime number therefore it is a field okay so now uh, so if the question is like this find the basis and dimension of a subspace spanned by these vectors just take those vectors in the matrix then uh, convert to the row reduced echelon form the non-zero rows the last the final non-zero rows are nothing but a basis of that vectors and also basis of that vector space and also the total number of non-zero rows is nothing but a dimension of that vector space okay so andre ivaga in kannada nimige enadru ivaga ee tara kottirtare find the basis matha dimension find out maadi uh, spanned by the vector space previous problems ile avtare ittu verify whether the given uh, subset forms a basis and the question is, if you linear independent, you can span and check the basis of the basis. But in these questions, you can find the next set of three questions. So, find the basis and dimension. Okay, now find the basis and dimension. Previous, check whether it forms a basis. Okay, now. So, find the basis and dimension. You can apply the basis and dimension. You can find the matrix form. You can find the row reduced reculon form. Row reduced reculon form is not the final step. Reduced echelon form agiratala a matrix ali yes to non zero row si de ade basis agirate matti yes to non zero row si de anthony count martirala ade dimension agirate artaita so first solution let w be the subspace of v3 of z3 generated by the vectors 1 2 0 1 1 0 2 0 1 and w on the choose martirina no let w be the subspace of v3 of z3 generated by the vectors 1 2 0 1 1 1 2 0 1 so w is equal to this set so consider the matrix a is equal to so consider these set of vectors in the matrix a in row wise for the determinant take in column wise so for this matrix take in the row wise 1 2 0 in the first row 1 1 1 in the second row and 2 0 1 in the third row okay so now reduce this matrix to echelon form what what it says echelon form first entry must be 1 below entry must be 0 next non zero entry that below of that non zero entry must be 0 that is okay so wait a minute okay so if i take if the matrix is like this just the first entry must be 1 below must be 0 next non zero entry if we have non zero entry the below entry must be 0 okay if you have 0 uh, that's okay if you have uh, non zero entry make the below entry must be 0 is it okay so like that 1 the non zero entry below 0 0 the non zero entry below 0 like that okay so here we have the matrix 1 2 0 the first entry is non zero entry is 1 here 1 and 2 make these entries must be 0 so this 1 belongs to the second row r2 and 2 belongs to the third row r3 that is this is in the row 3 this is in the row 2 so take operation r2 minus r1 from that r2 minus r1 means 1 minus 1 it becomes 0 next here 2 we have 2 so therefore r3 changes to r3 just write r3 that is what 2 minus 2 into what is r1 r1 is 1 so 2 minus 2 is 0 then it becomes 0 if we have 3 take minus 3 r1 if we have 5 minus 5 r1 like that okay so use the operation r2 minus 1 r1 okay next r3 changes to r3 minus here we have 2 therefore 2 r1 so 1, 2, 0. Next, apply R2 minus R1. What is that? 1 minus 1, 0. Put that one. Next, 1 minus 2, minus 1. Next, 1 minus 0, 1. 
here minus 1 which is not an element of z3 so the element of z3 are 0 1 and 2 only okay so if we minus 1 if we have the other than 0 1 to make the elements of uh, make that element has an element of z3 by using the congruent minus 1 is congruent minus 1 plus 3 add if you have negative values add plus 3 if you have positive bigger values then subtract that values by 3 okay here we have negative and real minus 1 in the element of a negative either the can you plus 3 use mark on my idea suppose me plus 4 plus 5 until a bigger number is 0 1 2 bit 2 other thing in my way cover subtract my way positive either subtract my negative values can add one last day so minus 1 plus 3 what is what we get to clearly it is z3 therefore take that one has to next one is and clearly an element has it is next apply r3 minus 2 r1 r3 minus 2 r1 2 minus 2 r1 is what a zero next zero minus 2 into 2 so what is that this one so here r3 is what r3 is zero minus 2 into r1 is what 2 so minus 2 into 2 4 minus 4 write that one next r3 is what 1 take that one minus 2 into what is r1 r1 is this one 0 so this one is r2 don't take that one take this one r1 so what is that 1 minus 2 into 0 0 1 minus 0 is 1 okay so now here we get 1 2 0 0 minus 1 1 and 0 minus 4 1 so minus 1 is not an element of z3 so take plus 3 that's okay next minus 4 which is also not an element of z3 so take minus 4 is congruent to minus 4 plus 3 we get minus 1 again negative minus 1 which is not an element of uh, z3 so then uh, again add plus 3 so minus 1 plus 3 we get 2 which is clearly element of z3 in z3 so it becomes minus 1 is also becomes 2 minus 4 is also becomes 2 1 is as it is okay so now 1 below 0 0 the non-zero element take make this non-zero entry must be 0 okay this non-zero entry is okay below that one make 0 that is the last step so here is the last step so what is that one this belongs to the row 3 make below this entry this entry belongs to row 2 therefore r3 minus r2 r3 is 2 minus r2 the row 2 is also 2 2 minus 2 is 0 okay so now it becomes 0 1 2 0 next 0 2 1 as it is next apply the row operation r3 r3 minus r2 so now it becomes 0 minus 0 0 2 minus 2 0 1 minus 1 0 this is the row reduced regular form of the matrix a okay so the non-zero rows are we uh, we get two non-zero rows 1 2 0 0 2 1 so those two non-zero rows are nothing but a basis the non-zero rows 1 2 0 0 2 1 take in the triplet form of the echelon matrix form a basis of w form a basis of w therefore there are two non-zero row therefore dimension is also two okay so the first step is take these vectors in the in a row and denote has a matrix a and reduce to echelon form third step is the final non-zero rows are nothing but a basis and the total number is nothing but a dimension that's it so next second problem so this is four marks problem find the basis and dimension of the subspace spanned by the find the basis and dimension so this is the question of the subspace spanned by the vectors 2 4 2 1 minus 1 0 0 3 1 in v3 of r here are real numbers so no need to change the, the negative to positive positive to negative if we have z3 then only change that uh, elements to uh, the elements must be come from 0 1 2 only other if we have other than 0 1 2 then make that elements to uh, z3 the elements of z3 by uh, using the operation plus and minus so here w be the subspace of r power 3 generated by the vectors 2 4 2 1 minus 1 0 and 0 3 1 form a matrix a then form a matrix a whose rows are in the given vectors so just take the vectors in row 1 row 2 row 3 and denote it as a then reduce this a to echelon form so what it says echelon form 1 the first entry must be 1 make below entry 0 next non-zero entry make that non-zero entry below entry must be 0 okay here we have 2 4 2 just divide 2 
2 by 2 is 1, 4 by 2 is 2, 2 by uh, 2 is 1. So we get 1, the non-zero entry. Next, what is the next step? Make below entry 0. Here already R3 is clearly 0. Just we make this R2 entry must be 0. That is use row operation R2 minus R1. 1 minus 1 becomes 0. Okay. So next step is R2 minus R1. Uh, 1 minus 1, 0. Next minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. 0 minus 1, minus 1. Okay. So next 0, 3, 1. Now, 1 below 0, 0 is over. Here, minus 3 entry is there. We make below this entry 0. This entry must be 0. So, take addition of these two. Minus 3 plus 3 becomes 0. So, addition of these two means what? R3 changes to R3. 3 plus R2 is minus 3. Okay. So, if I take this operation, row operation, then 1, 2, 1 as it is. 0, minus 3, minus 1. Row 1, row 2 as it is. We are playing only for row 3. So, now R3 plus R2 that is 0 plus 0, 0. Next, 3 plus of minus 3, 0. 1 plus of minus 1, 0. Okay. So, you can make this minus 2 plus by just by dividing minus 1. 3 by minus 1 is just 3. Minus 1 by minus 1 is also just 1. So, positive. Negative values convert to positive. Or you can multiply by negative sign. Complete multiply row 2 by minus 1. You can make like this okay so the non zero rows 1 2 1 0 3 1 the non zero rows 0, 1 2 1 and 0 3 1 of the echelon matrix form a basis of w so this is a non zero rows these two non zero rows form a basis and in fact there are two non zero rows therefore dimension of this w is 2 what is the w w is a subspace of here we consider let w is the subspace generated by the vectors 2, 4, 2, 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 3, 1. Okay. So, now, last problem of this type, third problem, find the basis and dimension of the, uh, dimension of the subspace spanned by the vectors 2, 4, 2, 1, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 1 and 0, 3, 1 in V3 of R. Okay. So, take those vectors in the first row, second row, third row and here we have four Vectors, therefore, fourth row. Okay. So, convert this matrix to row reduced echelon form. That is, make the first entry must be 1 and below entries must be 0. And next non-zero entry below of that 0 like that. Okay. So, first, what is the first entry here? Here, first entry is 2. So, make that one as 1. So, com divide complete this row by 2. So, 2 by 2 is 1, 4 by 2 is 2 and 2 by 2 is 1. So, this is the row operation. So, the matrix is equivalent to 1, 2, 1. Next, the second, third, fourth rows are as it is. Next, apply the row operations. Make the first step is over. Make the below entries must be 0. So, here already 0 is there. So, just row 2 and row 3. So, take R2 minus R1. Take R3 minus R1. So, R3, row 3. 1 minus 1, 0. R2 minus R1. That is 1 minus 1 is also 0. So, then we get 1, 2, 1. That's okay. Next, 1 minus 1, 0. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. 0 minus 1, minus 1. Next, this one is over. Next, 1 minus 1, 0. Next, uh, here 2 minus 2 0 next 1 minus 1 0 that is r3 minus r1 is it okay next 0 3 1 has it is now here we have minus 3 non zero row make this 3 has 0 that is the r4 r1 r2 r3 r4 this entry must we make that non zero entry must be 0 below of this so take the operation r4 and r2 r4 and r2 if we had these two we get zero so r4 changes to r4 plus r2 that is r4 plus r2 3 minus 3 it becomes 0 1 to 1 as it is 0 minus 3 minus 1 as it is 0 0 0 as it is now 0 plus 0 is 0 3 plus of minus 3 0 1 plus of minus 1 0 is it okay? So, we get 1 below below, 1 below zeros and uh, minus 3 non-zero entry below 0. Is it okay? So, it is clearly a row reduced echelon form. So, uh, just change this minus to plus by dividing minus 1. We get there are 2 non-zero rows namely 1, 2, 1 and 0, 3, 1. Okay. So, this set of 3 triplets is 1, 2, 1 and 0, 3, 1 form a basis. There are 2 vectors 
two non-zero rows. There are two vectors, uh, two non-zero rows. Therefore, one, two, one, and zero, three, one. Therefore, dimension is two. Is it clear? That is the dimension of the subspace is two. Is it okay? So this completes the complete concept about basis and.